Hey all, welcome to another Do It Yourself video. In this video, I'm going to share you how I built this simple digital wristwatch using Arduino. I built this project for learning purpose, like to design custom parts using Fusion 360, 3D printed, and also to understand few challenges in designing battery operated devices. I would like to share what I've learned from this project. Watch the video till the end for more details. Here are the list of components and materials used in this project. I have used Arduino Mini Pro 5V 16MHz version because it is smaller in size. HW357 module for charge control. This module has a built-in boost converter which is required to get 5V for Arduino and other modules. For the display, I have used SSD1306, an ITC based OLED display with 128 by 64 pixels. The real-time clock or the RTC module is based on DS3231 chip. This particular module is more compact in design. I've used tilt switch to turn on the display and show the clock on the wrist gesture. For adjusting date time, display brightness, and to design this watch as complete waterproof, I've used TTP223 touch sensors instead of tactile button switches. The battery is 350 mAh lithium with built-in charge and discharge protection circuit using DW01 T7000 adhesive to fix display and the touch sensor to the acrylic sheet and also for waterproofing. For the front screen, I have used transparent glossy acrylic sheet with thickness of 1 mm and car sun film sticker with 70% visibility for the display to get the dark tint. We can use tinted acrylic sheets as well. For the charging dock, I didn't get the magnetic pogo pins, but I had the nickel strip and the programmer pogo pins handy, so I decided to design the dock charger using this. Before we start, there are few other modifications to make the circuit more efficient and power saving. HW357 is a TP4056 chip based charge controller. It has a built in step up boost converter. Remember, this is very important. Before connecting the output to any modules, we need to set the output voltage to 5 volts. Otherwise, if the voltage is higher than 5 volts, then it will fry up the modules. Next, we need to set the charging current based on the battery we choose. This module can provide charging current up to 1 amp. But the battery capacity we will be using in this project is 350 mAh. And so the charging current should be less than 350 mA. Refer to the battery data sheet to get the maximum safe charging current. This is very important for any battery operated device design to get good battery life and safety. To reduce the charging current, we need to replace this ORPROC resistor. The resistor value can be chosen from the ORPROC table as shown here. This is also available in TP4056 data sheet. For this project, I have used 4.7K resistor because I did not get the 5K resistor at the right time. There are few other simple modifications to save power and space. From the charger module, I have removed the micro USB socket which is not required anymore. From the Arduino Mini Pro, I have removed the voltage regulator and LEDs to save some battery power and also removed the reset button to get some space and to prevent the button stay pressed finally while fixing the circuit inside the case. From the DS3231 RTC module, I have removed the Berg strip connector and changed the battery position to get a sleek design for placement inside the case. The capacitance of this touch sensor module is more finicky than I thought. It gets triggered when I took my finger just near it even before touching it. To adjust this sensitivity, I have added a capacitor as shown here. I have tried with multiple capacitor values and finally 15 PF was working fine for 1 mm to 2 mm acrylic sheet. Then I have removed the touch indicator LED to save power. For an optimistic design, I have shorted the LED pads and replaced the current limiting resistor with a 10K resistor. This 10K resistor can now act as a pull-down resistor to avoid false triggers. Then I have created the Arduino sketch and tested with breadboard circuit. 
The link to the source code is available in the description. At first, I started this circuit by using tactile button switches. Later by considering the waterproof design, I have replaced those with touch sensors. One is for the navigation through daytime settings and another is to adjust daytime, turn on display from standby to show the clock and also to adjust the brightness of the display. I've used Fusion 360 to design this watch based on the boat size which came around 45 mm. The strap size is 22 mm. These holes are for charger contact plates. Then I printed this model using my 3D printer with super fine profile. I have provided the download link of the STL files in the description. The circle thing you see here is just an iron washer to hold the watch steady on the charging dock using the magnets. This is a nickel strip which generally will be used to weld the batteries. I have used this as a contact for charging port. I have cut the required size for the display panel from this 1mm transparent acrylic sheet. Sanded the uneven surface on the case using the sandpaper and painted it with matte black spray paint. Soldered all the components and modules to the circuit and now it is ready to upload the code. I have provided all the purchase and download links in the description of this video. These are the Arduino libraries I have used in this project. You can get these libraries from Arduino's library manager or directly from developer's website or repository. Here comes an interesting part. For any battery operated device, we should put the microcontroller into standby or deep sleep mode whenever it is possible. This is a very huge power saving option. I have used the low power library to send the microcontroller to deep sleep, turn off ADC and brownout detection. That means the microcontroller will be in sleep mode until the interrupt signal is received. I have used the tilt switch and touch button as external interrupts to wake up the microcontroller and turn on the display to show the clock. We can even use 3.3 volts version of Arduino Mini Pro because it can run the microcontroller at 8 MHz which will double up the battery backup. I have used the USB FTTI module to upload the code into Arduino board. The sketch is now uploaded and it is ready to test. Well, it worked as expected. Then fix the display and touch sensors to the acrylic sheet using T7000 adhesive. Glue the front panel to the case using the same T7000 adhesive, carefully for waterproofing. Designed the charger dock using Fusion 360 and 3D printed it. I have used the programmer pogo pins for the charger contact and neodymium magnets to have the watch stick to the dock while charging.
the red led will glow while charging the green led when the battery is full then i have applied the tinted sun flame with 70% visibility on the display to hide the other c1 components being visible If you notice this design is suitable to wear in the left hand if we need to wear this watch in the right hand then we can turn the display position while fixing it in the case attach the silicone strap Finally, here is the completely finished watch. I hope you got something useful from this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video and share your valuable comments. Subscribe this channel for more interesting contents. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever new videos are released. Thanks for watching.